Hello, hello guys, welcome to yet another video. My name is George and today we've got a beautiful GLE G63S that we're gonna be driving and I'm gonna tell you all about it because this is the car guy perspective and all I do is tell you how these awesome cars feel, how they feel to drive, how they feel to ride them and how they make you feel as a driver. And this thing, honestly, is one of my favorite cars that I've driven in the past couple years. For some of you that know me, you will know that I'm not a huge fan of SUVs. However, this thing is done properly. It's a big old lump of a car. It's called the fuck you kind of car. And honestly, I'm such a big fan of it because it's a floaty, floaty boat. If you keep it in comfort, it rides over curbs like nothing else. It rides over anything and everything <laughs> like nothing else. And it's just so much fun to be around. Uh, to drive around really in terms of power we're looking at over 600 horsepower between 605 and 620 everywhere you look is a different number but i'm just going to call it 610 horsepower and around 725 to 750 foot pounds of torque so a shit ton of power from this four liter bi-turbo v8 which is slightly electrified it's got some sort of motor um and it, sorry some sort of uh, electric motor that's in the um, in the gearbox in the uh, engine that helps it do certain things like um, start stop and all that jazz. It's not really an EV or a hybrid. You can't charge it. You can't plug it in anyway. It doesn't really have electric power, but it doesn't really need it because this thing is so so fast. Even though it weighs like 2.6 or 2.7 tons, this thing is insane. And just have a look at the details on this thing beautiful blacked out uh, front with um, silver accents and the grille which I'm a big fan of actually I've got the beautiful Mercedes LED uh, headlights riding on I think 22 uh, inch wheels yes that's correct 22 inch wheels says it right here red calipers beautiful beautiful wheels they're slightly dirty now because I've been driving it for a bit and brake dust on this thing is uh, quite severe given how big it is uh, You've got obviously the V8 by turbo formatic badge, beautiful color, which is not white, it's more like a pearl white, uh, which I'm a huge fan of. On the rear, we've got some humongous tires, we've got 325s on the rear, so this thing has a lot of grip. And of course, around the back, we've got the quad tip exhaust, which surprisingly, for a um, brand new car with all the regulations, it sounds pretty bloody good. From the interior, of course, you are helped by the uh, Burmeister sound system, which pumps a little bit of um, noise in the cabin, but not too much, not intrusive, and frankly, it feels quite natural. And, but if you open the sunroof or lower the windows, you will hear that this glorious exhaust, the glorious V8. And surprisingly, it does pop, it crackles, snaps on upshift, it's pretty good. So yeah, we'll start with the uh, trunk because this thing is a family car and excuse the mess in here but as you can see I've got my filming gear a bunch of random random crap in it and it's got so much so much space obviously you've got this thing you can pull and uh, cover the uh, trunk area and it's actually started to rain so I'm gonna hop inside so I can show you the interior in the back of course so much space so much space in the rear we've got carbon trim and beautiful beautiful leather interior with Alca white Alcantara uh, felt like material I believe it's Alcantara we've got a huge uh, panoramic sunroof look how big that thing is it's the entire size of the car and the front bit actually comes over um, so you can uh, open the roof which is pretty cool but yeah here you got plenty plenty of space I mean legroom it's not an issue whatsoever in the back here it's gorgeous got the um, AMG um, plaques on the door seals which is phenomenal and let's go around the front my favorite part of this car and here we've got this beautiful beautiful AMG interior once again with the uh, carbon trim the uh, Burmeister Burnmeister whatever you call it sound system huge uh, door bins and the luscious luscious interior I mean look at this thing gorgeous and I've had to uh, pop inside the car because it actually started to rain uh, quite severely out there 
<laughs> and I was getting uh, rained on. But once again, the luscious interior. I mean, look at the color combo on this. White accents, black leather, phenomenal. We've got carbon fiber trim pretty much everywhere on this. Uh, we've got gloss black in the central console here. This is a huge, huge uh, compartment for your uh, like cup holders, put your phone here, charge your phone, whatever. We've got another compartment in here where you can store random, uh, random stuff. And of course the door bins, which are uh, quite huge. But yeah, this is the uh, interior, which is honestly one of my favorite interiors. Um, it's got the uh, AMG um, steering wheel, of course, with the AMG logo right here. Got the multi-functional buttons, which if I press the ignition, you'll see right here, you can uh, change these to display various uh, settings. I usually keep it for the gearbox and the exhaust, because obviously I want to have the exhaust on. And this is the um, drive select button, which you just do this with and changes the um, driving mode of the car. Right. Yeah, this is the uh, instrument cluster. Obviously, right now, everything is uh, <laughs> shiny. But if I turn the car on, all of that will go away. And if I just reset this, oh, there you go. Whatever, one of these settings. <laughs> Um, yeah, one thing about this car, it will drink a bit of fuel because it's quite heavy and it's got a big old V8 in it. I'm averaging around 16 mpg um, combined driving. I've been driving on motorway, driving on uh, in the city, doing whatever, launches, ragging it about sometimes because it is quite fun. Even though it's big, it's quite fun. And um, yeah, it's not, uh, it's not a bad car for uh, driving dynamically. Here, obviously, we've got the infotainment system with all the bits and bobs. We've got the AMG uh, modes, the views for the engine, all that jazz, so you can see how much uh, power you're pushing and consumptions. Well, that's the screen. You don't really want to uh, look at the screen because, uh, yeah. <laughs> but besides that, honestly, phenomenal, phenomenal car. Um, if you uh, want something that's fun and also super safe and super comfortable, as an SUV, this is pretty good, honestly. It's, as I said, one of my favorite cars that I've driven in the past couple of years when it comes to normal cars. I'm not talking supercars, just normal cars. This is up there. But enough talking, let me um, set up the cameras and take this baby for a drive. So see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so we are driving the GLE 63 now in its natural habitat. And that's a parking lot with speed bumps. And that's where this car will spend most of its life actually, because the kind of people who buy this car really use it as a daily driver. So you'll be going around town, you'll be going to shopping trips, you'll be going in the city doing 20 miles an hour, whilst you can hear this glorious V8, which snaps and pops and burbles. Love this thing. Currently, it's in uh, race mode because um, that's how you drive the uh, GLA 63 in uh, race mode. <laughs> because this thing is so insanely fast for how much it weighs, and also it's so insanely fun. If I lower the window a little bit, I'm going to first gear, wait for these guys to. Uh, lower the windows in the rear a little bit and almost slow down shift into first oh you can hear how awesome this thing sounds it sounds unreal it cracks it snaps it pops and this is a new exhaust it's a 2024 well 
2023 car, but listen to this. Unreal, unreal. Granted, inside here doesn't sound as good because obviously you've got quite a bit of insulation and all that jazz. But from the outside, this thing sounds wild, honestly. I'm gonna put it back in sport, but keep the exhaust on because I do like the, to hear the rumble. And I'll put it in comfort, sorry, not in uh, sport. Put it in comfort and just cruise a little bit because this thing is so soft, so plush. I mean, I'm driving it with two, two fingers here because there's really no need for more. <laughs> when it's in comfort, it's so relaxing in here. It's quiet, one finger. It's quiet, it's, you're high up, you're just chilling, you're cruising. As I mentioned before, this is a fuck you kind of car. <laughs> it's really, really nice to be in. And it's so comfortable. These seats are phenomenal. Very supportive, very nice. But yeah, the whole car is basically floating around. But when you do want to push it, oh, it's unreal. What I love about it in comfort is obviously the suspension is quite soft and when you accelerate the whole car leans <laughs> and when the car leans it gives you that sort of uh, plane taking off vibe and it's quite fun actually you see those uh, photos or like videos online when the SUV is just tilted up <laughs> and this does exactly that if you keep it in comfort but if you keep it in sport plus or race mode it's actually very very stable and uh, keeps itself quite flat uh, given how big and heavy it is so you can get the best of both worlds with this uh, with this car you get a huge amount of power and good enough dynamic for what it is and you also cruise around like this chilling doing the speed limit absolutely vibing in here it's so so comfortable i can't explain to you how comfortable i am you've got massage seats heated ventilated sunroof uh burmaster sound system which sounds unreal if you got all the bells and whistles you could ever ask for it's just it's so much fun and i've had this car for a while now uh, thanks to mercedes uk and it's just i mean <laughs> This is a family SUV. <laughs> Why does this sound so good? <laughs> it's ridiculous how good this thing sounds. It's honestly ridiculous. I'm going to put it in race mode now with gearbox in manual. Um, so we can uh, have a little bit of fun with it. Obviously nothing too crazy. Uh, just a bit of fun to hear the car and experience the acceleration and all that jazz we're not going to go crazy because this is not a crazy car it's a car that you use every day and every now and then you do something exciting with it um, so yeah that's exactly what we're gonna be doing and uh, see what it can do basically Currently, there is nobody behind me, so I'm actually going to stop and do a launch control. And here we go. Unreal. A car this big should not move like that. What a machine, honestly, what a machine. And I won't lie to you guys, I'm not gonna say, wow, this is unreal the way it handles and the way it feels, because it doesn't. I mean, it's a big old SUV. It's 2.6 over, 2.6 or 2.7 tons, somewhere there, with me in it, three tons. <laughs> and, you know it's a big lump of a car it's not meant to be dynamic or anything but even the way it is right now it's actually so much fun because as i've mentioned 
you take it for your shopping trip, but then you put it in Sport Plus or Race or just turn on the, uh, or open the valve the exhaust and you've got the glorious, glorious V8 just screaming and ripping and pop, popping and crackling. And it's so much fun. It's, it's such a fun car. One thing that I do have to mention is the uh, formatic, uh, well, not the formatic, it's the, um, the gearbox, the formatic plus, whatever you want to call it, this gearbox from uh, Mercedes. It, it's a DCT gearbox and it's quite jerky at low speeds, like through uh, the city. Um, sometimes it, it jerks you back, it, you know, uh, acts like a DCT, which it is. So there is that to it. But honestly, I really don't mind it. it. It makes up for it and how comfortable the car is, how fast it is, and just the way it looks. Um, if you're not careful with the accelerator pedal, sometimes you may find yourself jerking back from a, from a standstill or when you're at a traffic light. But if you're a little bit gentle and you, you know, take care when you uh, leave a traffic light and don't just mash the throttle, uh, you'll be all right. If you're in um, race mode like I am right now, there's not much you can do. Uh, it will jerk. <laughs> it will jerk no matter what. But then you get that. I hope you can hear those crackles. <laughs> So much fun. <laughs> Stupid car. Absolutely love it. As I said, it's one of my favorite cars that I've driven in a while when it comes to normal cars. If you can call this normal. You can probably hear everything around. You can probably hear everything moving around um, in the back because I've got some gear, as you've seen, some stuff in a boot. It's not secure whatsoever. <laughs> I just put it in there. Um, but it's whatever. Like this car is too much fun not to enjoy, and I'm loving every second of it. But I believe this. Um, is the end of the video because there is not much else I can tell you about this car. You've seen how fun it is and how comfortable and how just imposing this car is. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it guys. I do hope you have enjoyed this uh, video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.